I just got done complaining about Did You Know Gaming in another video, and then I log into Twitter and see that he has another hot take, another ridiculous I uh another another ridiculous take that really demonstrates, I think, just how out of touch and irrelevant this specific organization is, right? Uh I just looked at an old chart and I realized that Luigi's Mansion 2 is probably gonna outsell Metroid Prime 4. Yeah, no shit. The Mario game outsells the Metroid game. Like, the second most popular IP in gaming outsells, like, the most niche Nintendo IP there is. Like, Luigi's Mansion 2 was a huge success. Like, get over it. There was, like, again, people don't believe me when I make these statements about how, like, gaming YouTubers have this weird, like, agenda against Luigi's Mansion 2. Like, uh, people don't believe me when, like, I tell them that, like, uh, gaming YouTubers have this weird disregard for this, like, genuinely great Nintendo 3DS game. You know, I've explained this, like, several times, how, like, how weird it is how people obsessively hate on Luigi's Mansion 2 and keep making all these weird statements about it, about how it's, like, such a huge disappointment and how it's, like, underwhelming or whatever. And, and uh, yeah, seeing this... You know, complaining about Luigi's Mansion 2 being more successful than Metroid Prime. Like, who cares? You know, like, again, why can't you just appreciate Metroid for what it is? You know, that Nintendo still produces the games that they're still as good as they are. Like, again, this is coming from the same person who just tried speaking out against, like, uh, Samus Returns, right? This is the same guy who tried complaining about about modern Metroid games, you know, trying to shill another Metroid 2 R, uh, another Metroid 2 remake, and yet he's going to turn around and like concern troll about Metroid Prime 4 not being not going to be as successful as Luigi's Mansion 2. Like who cares? You know, like again, this is kind of this is like the a really good example of like why I can't stand sales talk and why I don't care about Metacritic scores. Like why can't we just talk about the games we enjoy? Like, why do we have to obsessively, like, cover, like, the sales numbers of games? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, at all. And yet, like, you keep seeing people like this come out and say, oh, uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 is selling more than Metroid Prime 4, a game I know nothing about. Like, that's such a shame. Like, why? And, and it's honestly, like, it, it's kind of disgusting if you think about it. Like, he's really going to come out and complain about the sales numbers for Metroid Prime 4 when the game isn't out yet and we don't even know what it's like. You know, in theory, Metroid Prime 4 could be a disappointment. You know, I certainly haven't seen enough to get excited for it yet. You know, I was more excited for Metroid Prime Federation Force when that was shown off because we actually got a real gameplay trailer. Like, like Metroid Prime 4 didn't have, like... Uh, has a lot of things going against it, right? You know, it took too long to develop. Like, the trailer wasn't interesting. It seems kind of like uh, basic Metroid Prime stuff. We haven't seen, like, a really lots of really good, like, uh, interesting aspects to it yet, right? You know, I, I like the environments and, that, like, Silex is back and, like, you know, you know, I enjoy Metroid Prime. So, like, you know, I am reasonably optimistic about the game. But, like, to say Metroid Prime 4 doesn't have, like, a lot of issues going against it, I, I think that's... Uh, I think that's uh, not taking into consideration, like, it's not a proper evaluation of the situation, right? You know, Luigi's Mansion 2 is a fantastic game. So, like, why exactly do you feel the need to, to talk down to Luigi's Mansion 2? Like, how dare this game be successful? How dare this game be popular? How dare this game, like, sell more than Metroid Prime 4? Like, it's... Uh, it's ridiculous. Like, it is absurd. And, and, like, this is a reason why I've I've been always very critical of, like, the Metroid fan base. Because, like, to me, it looks as if they're not actual enthusiasts of the, uh, of the games. It looks, to me, as if they, they use the games, they're, uh, uh this, uh, niche Nintendo IP as a sort of weapon against other Nintendo IPs. And we've seen this before. Like, uh, you know, when Retro Studios worked on Donkey Kong Country Returns instead of, like, Metroid Prime, there were a lot of people who were crying about the fact that, like, they weren't producing new Metroid. Like, oh, they're wasting their time making Donkey Kong Country Returns. Meanwhile, like, uh, that specific game outsold, like, the entire Metroid Prime trilogy, 
right? Like Returns was a huge success. It was great. It brought back like a 90s favorite in a glorious way and like they improved on it with a sequel, Tropical Freeze, right? Like, and again, you saw a lot of people cry about it, right? And, uh, you know, like to this day, I don't think Donkey Kong Country Returns like has gotten the props and praise it deserved for uh, for what it did, right? Like, you know, Donkey Kong Country was... And still is, like, one of the best 2D Nintendo platforming series that, like, Nintendo has ever put out. Like, why exactly was a reboot so poorly received, right? And again, like I said, Metroid is used as a weapon against other Nintendo properties. That's all there is to it, really. And uh, this is, I think, a perfect example of that kind of mindset. 